G'day and welcome to the garage. Today, I'm putting an engine in a Sylvia. So you know those times when you're a mechanic and you know what you're talking about and people ask for your advice and you give them good advice and they don't listen. Well, then when all turns to poo, it becomes your problem because you're the mechanic. That's why I'm working on a Sylvia today. So the old motor in the uh, Sylvia is completely fried and um, so we pretty much had to start again. So we've got a brand new fully reconditioned um, SR20DT forged engine from Trix. And um, yeah, we're gonna chuck it in. A little bit of work, but um, I thought I might as well make a video on it anyway, something different and it might uh, appeal to a different audience. So it's pretty cool when the uh, the petrol head thing runs in the family and you pass it down. But I don't know if I'm impressed. <laughs> I wish it was a hot rodder. But anyway, he's into these and um, what do you do? You've got to help the family out. So yeah, let's get this thing done. sound advice this uh, car came with a engine that's absolutely cactus about as useful as a tortoise with a wheelie bar about as useful as a toothbrush that's been dropped in the toilet that runs about as good as a one-legged penguin and hot sand um, but it also came with an array of modifications which it really is set up as a track car and uh, for the street it's just going to cause drama so we're going to try and make this thing, well, I'm going to, it's not my car, but uh, make this thing as, um, as road friendly as we can and legal so we don't have any dramas. That's the plan. And for the die hard Nissan owners and the Sylvia owners um, that are going, why? It's because you've got to play smarter. And if you've been on the street long enough, you'll know why. So you've got to play smarter and um, we're going to make this car clean, we're going to make it powerful, we're going to make it legal, and that's what we want. If we want to do some track stuff, or well, we can put all the good bits back on it and uh, bring it back to that. But, uh, you got to play smart people, you got to play smart. Hey man, you know how my channel is called Old School Only? Yeah. This thing's about as old school as a, um, as a Nissan Sylvia. <laughs> it's uh, disappointing, really. <laughs> thing out and um, start working on the new car. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this engine is in about as good condition as an S bend in a public toilet at the football.
engine is about as good as a frozen chicken that's been left out in the sun to defrost for a week. motors out. About as useful as a overcooked potato chip that's been dropped on the floor. And um, give everything a bit of a clean up and we'll uh, start swapping stuff over on the new Found it, especially if we put it all that together. This is the coolant, the cooling hose for the turbo, and it's broken. So that's where all the water was discharged from and caused the engine to overheat and cook. So yeah, we can fix that hopefully. Otherwise, we need to get a new one. But that's a bonus that we found it. Alrighty, a few hours later, um, battery went flat, but it's dark outside now, and we've moved ourselves into the top shed and. Uh, Got some lighting in here, so we're going to keep going. The young bloke's just popped up the road to get some refreshments. Um, we've had that repaired, so we're good to go there. And we've started to swap everything over onto the new motor. It's pretty cool. So the next big job is getting this manifold off and all the uh, associated parts. So yeah, let's get into it. Well, it's just turned into a real family affair, hasn't it, Dodge? Hey, and everybody's here. You stink. One of you do. Probably you. Are you right, mate? Are you right, Dodgy? Me? Hey? Yeah, I know. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. performance 
heavy duty racing clutch with a extra heavy duty um, clutch plate. So in a lovely lavender color, mind you. Um, so yeah, that's good and it seems to be in good condition with a little wear. So we're chucking it back in and um, now it's time to align it without an aligning tool. how you sort the men from the boys. So this engine is as fresh as a baker's delight bun at six o'clock in the morning. Everything swapped over. Everything we need off this has been removed and um, we're gonna put this in in the morning. All right, well, it's the next morning and it's time to put this bad boy in. Let's get this done. That's a tight squeeze, but we are in there. Downhill slide. So we're ready for the radiator and we've got this fancy Phoenix doodah. Take it out, man. Apparently to be cool, it's got to be a phoenix, apparently, I don't know, but it's got a phoenix. Turn it around the other way, man. Yeah, there you go. Well, isn't that pretty? Only one problem. It's the wrong radiator. It's for an S13, not an S14. So that's stalling the progress today. So we'll probably leave this episode here and we'll come back for part two when we've sourced or when we've had the radiator replaced with the correct one.